beauty of people is that we're not all the same. The differences between us is what makes the colors of life come alive. Today, I'm going to show you how to make skin with one of the most perfect of imperfections. Once you've completed your character and you're ready for skin, head over to shading. Now, to begin, select your character's mesh in your shading editor, hit Shift A, and then search for image texture. Once you have the image texture, hit New. And as default, everything will be by 1090 and 1090. Just times this by 2 and make it 2048. And now, for the base color, make it more of a skin tone base color that you would like for your character. And then hit OK. Now connect the color to the base color. Also, let's name our skin texture freckles. Now we're going to head over to our texture paint. Once in texture paint, we need to first start by making sure the color on the left side of your brush is completely white. So make sure that that color is completely white. Now, go over to the very bottom to texture properties and hit plus. And the first thing we need to do is choose which texture we'd like to do. So for freckles, I have found that the best texture is Voronoi. So first go down here to color ramp. Make sure on the right side of your color ramp, it is the skin tone that you are trying to match. And now you will see that if you draw on your character, you will have the texture. However, there's a couple more things we need to do to actually make it look like freckles. Also on your brush, make sure darken is enabled instead of the default mix. Now. Grab the skin tone of your character and drag it slightly toward the black. Now you'll see we're getting closer. So now let's make our freckles more of a color that they are supposed to be. So first I've noticed that typically a kind of brownish red is good for freckles. Have this color be darkest if it's toward the most left side. Now we're going to add another color stop inside of this. And we're going to just copy the red, but make it slightly lighter. Now we need to mess with the distance of our freckles. Because otherwise they will be large and splotchy like this. So we're going to go to our size. And we're just going to zoom out. And then you'll see, you'll have nice looking freckles. Now one thing that is important when doing your freckles for your character is that over here in your active workspace you have random enabled for your texture. If not, you'll see that things just don't quite behave how they should. They'll just look very uniform and very flat. However, once you enable random it will make it so it is a more chaotic pattern, which will look more natural for a freckled face. And then just freckle everywhere you'd like to on your character. It usually helps to have more than just on the face, maybe put some on the neck and the shoulders to help sell the look better. And then to show you guys the end results. <laughs> 